Hey guys, it's the morning of day two of my liquid pre op diet. Yay! Um, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Maria, and I am having the gastric sleeve with Dr. Benetti at Northern Dutchess Hospital in New York. I don't want to say like yesterday was unmanageable. It it was a little manageable. Not that I mean I did it, so it was like definitely manageable. But um, it was a, a little rough last night again. Like I mentioned in my last video, um, you know my family, you know, was hadn't made dinner yet and everything, and I was working a long day, and all I wanted to do was just, like, sit down and just, like, veg out on the couch and munch on things. So, I had some popsicles. Um, I'm gonna, maybe later today I'll do a, I'll go through, like, what I'm allowed to eat on this pre-op liquid diet. Um, so sugar-free popsicles, because it's, you can't really chew jello, so I was going, and, ugh, I need to, I tried the orange flavor and orange is my go-to flavor and no these were these were gross these are the great value sugar-free junior pop things anyway um the, the orange was not was not orange at all no we will not be doing that again so and it, so it didn't really quite hit the spot so at that point i was just like so disappointed and i was like fuck this i'm not nope i'm done done so i went um, so I just hung out with my husband, um, and then, like, 10 o'clock, yeah, 10 o'clock I went to lay down to read and go to sleep, um, because I was like, I'm almost done with my book, and I want to finish my book, so, yeah, <laughs> um, I will say, I think that's going to be, like, one of the harder things with the the liquid phases um both pre and post-op is my husband and i are on different work schedules so i while yes i work from home and i have a slightly flexible schedule um like i have to start my job by 9 a.m um i also don't like working until 5 30 especially in the winter like it sucks um so I usually try to start earlier, which means I need to go to bed earlier. Like, I am asleep early. Like, I I need my sleep. I can also get tons of extra sleep. <laughs> Even if I don't, like, mathematically need it, I will just lay down and go right to sleep. It's, it's like, mm. um, so that, but my husband, if he's closing, he doesn't get home until after 10, um, uh, the store was open later during the holidays that we just got over, so he wasn't even getting home, home until, like, after 11, closer to midnight, and, you know, I married him, I want to, you know, spend time with him, so I, I do try to stay up to see him when he gets home, even for a little bit, but it's, like, a, a pain point with these different hours and everything, so that'll be the, the biggest gripe, because, like, I need to prioritize my sleep because I can't just get like six hours of sleep and have a ton of caffeine to make up for it while I'm working the next day so you know we'll see how that goes so um hopefully I saw a little um infograph on one of the bariatric groups on part of online um I joined a bunch on Facebook so I could like weed through them and find like the one I want to like stick with so my feed is not like super cluttered with a bunch of uh bullshit um and it said you know like during the liquid phase you're gonna lose your water weight and then when you start your puree phase um you're gonna have a stall because your body you're not losing the water weight you're back on solid foods um which is where the three week the infamous three weeks all comes from which is fine that's one of the reasons why i'm not going to like um check my weight until a month post-op um because i don't want to deal with that mentality of oh my god like i don't want that diet mentality to come back um but it did say like the that phase like with 
post-op and then like before you start um like regular solid foods you do get your energy back so i'm hoping for that because i could really like really hoping um for anyone who's post-op when did you start getting your energy back i would love to know oh sorry guys it's early for me um yeah, so when did you, like, really start to feel, like, the energy? Because that's one of the things I'm looking forward to um, post-op, like, in general. Um, but definitely during the caffeine-free phase. So, um, yeah, so I've got the Better Than Bullion chicken base cooking in my coffee maker. Um, I made a bunch of shakes last yesterday because it was annoying to make them every time. And those pre-made drinks are fucking expensive. Like, let's be fair. Like, those are expensive like if you're only having one for an entire meal it's not that bad like price wise but I have to have like four to six shakes a day so that's it's fucking expensive like in this food economy mm -mm, nope so we we make it on um yeah so that's where we're at <sighs> here's hoping today's better day